blind. Quite literally. Uh, this is an absolute first impression, which means it could all go horribly wrong because I have no idea what, what's needed for this game. <laughs> I'm in the sea. I'm in the sea. Uh, this is the Falconeer. I like the play on words there. Right. Press any button to continue. Yeah, the controllers don't work right. Uh, let's try to emulate a gamepad with these controllers. Virtual desktop input. Use motion controllers to emulate gamepad. Okay. Wait a few seconds for the world to fall into place. Press A. There we go. Difficulty normal. Change the difficulty. Settings. Let's look at settings. Ooh, a lot of settings. Language. Difficulty. Easy. Easy for me. Right. Camera smoothness. Cinematic zoom. Is that what I want? Fair enough, okay. UI upscaling. Okay, oh, this is good. Cinematic zoom. Enabled. Oh, I've done it now. It's not coming back. It's enabled now, okay. Upscaling. We can, we can, we can, we can upscale quite a bit. Scale quite a bit. There we go. Oh, that'll be all right. Colors, gamma. It's quite intense. Uh, vibration enable. Master volume, voice volume, frame rate. I don't know if that should be on or off. No idea. Anti-aliasing. Processing, reflections, shadows, high quality, resolution, good. Save and close. Control scheme. Flight controls left stick. Camera controls right stick. Fire weapon right trigger. Drop use left bumper. X, lock target. A sub target, left bumper should be grip, dash and roll, break and dive, Y, pyro special pot, B target, tricky. I've got no D pad. be able to simulate it. Oh, where are we? Save. Start. When we were young in this place, the Falconeers were messengers and guardians. They carried memories and spirits to the beyond. Now those origins are lost and their lives and memories are lost to battle. But you can learn from them, their memories soaring through the clouds above the seas. Let us find out what stories remain in these splintered fragments the currents have brought us. Imperial Peak is the Imperial Seat, the highest attainable seat in the Empire. Towering over Imperial Harbor and the Earthsea, its inhabitants are blinded to the plight of those below. Only those who serve the Empress ever perch on its balconies or set foot on its marble floors.
A good position amongst several currents makes Dunkel a favored stop for traders seeking to circumvent Imperial tariffs. A natural harbor, Dunkel has survived longer than many other settlements along the fringes of Imperial control, and boasts its own small mining concession along the moor. I am, um, whilst following the story, I'm trying to check the, v the VR stream. This chapter serves as a slow introduction to the world and its mysteries. There is no conflict between factions at this time, and you are free to explore the world. The main storyline can be found at Dunkel. I should have read it on the. I should have read the last one, shouldn't I? Let's go back to the first one. Imperial Peak is the Imperial Seat, the highest attainable seat in the Empire. Towering over Imperial Harbor and the Ursi, its inhabitants are blinded to the plight of those below. Only those who serve the Empress ever perch on its balconies or set foot on its marble floors. Oh, what? A good position amongst several currents makes Dunkel a favored stop for traders seeking to circumvent Imperial tariffs. A natural harbor, Dunkel has survived longer than many other settlements along the fringes of Imperial control and boasts its own small mining concession along the moor. Storyline at Dunkel, okay. House Mercius is the owner of the largest iron mining and trading company in the Imperium. As a result, the rich mines of Clefspire are slowly eating up the islands, and while Clefspire shrinks, its battle fleets grow. Interesting. <laughs> sort of Lord of the Rings voice over there. This chapter expands on the main faction storyline. It introduces new enemies. Lords at a cusp of war. You, you are no longer welcome. Local legend claims that giants threw their spears into the Ursi to create a shard, a place filled with secrets, where ancient mechanisms are often found along the edge of the moor. House Borgia is known for its secrecy, providing spymasters and clandestine mechanisms to its allies. It is a long-standing target of the Mansa Order. Place filled with secrets. The main story escalates during this chapter as conflict reaches all corners of the Ursi. Ursi, Ursi. <laughs> the storyline will focus on deeper secrets. Okay. Could be doing this for weeks. The Reach symbolizes the Mansa Order's power and authority to investigate and prosecute any noble house or vassal of the Imperium. And just like in the myth of Oberon, it symbolizes the Mansa Order's eternal quest to liberate themselves from this world. Right. You will experience the aftermath of earlier events within this chapter. Further motivations of the major factions will be revealed as each faction races to cement their legacy. Big story, big storyline. The Imperium is now your foe, your enemy, as you wear the shoes of the Mansur Order. The main storyline concludes here. Full side missions. Lots of stuff going on, okay. These memories are not yet important. You have more to learn in other places. A final moment, okay. Imperial Peak is the Imperial Seat, the highest attainable seat in the Empire. Towering over Imperial Harbor and the Ursi, its inhabitants are blinded to the plight of those below. Only those who serve the Empress ever perch on its balconies or set foot on its marble floors. Choose now what stories and memories await you. What can be gleaned from these lives? I'll be the dude with the hood. Or I'll be the old guy with the beard. Or the young guy with the funky beard. That'll do. Oh, did I miss the bird? Choo go back. Imperial Peak, choose now what stories and memories await you. What can be gleaned from these lives? I guess I can't change the bird, I can just change the person. Right? That's 
the same one. As the son of a lesser noble, being accepted for training by the warbird forces of the Imperium is a great honor. A chance for your house to rise in standing. Your aptitude with the bird in combat is clear, and you are a rising star. However, tragedy strikes, and your family loses its ships and holdings to the Freebooter Rebellion. With your commission as an officer lost, your only route forward is as an Imperial privateer. You fight the Imperium's enemies as an independent asset. You are a privateer. Ascend now, Falconeer. Hmm. Attention applicants! Your Empress needs you. With these incidents, east of Dunkel, and the Freebooter threat, we have fallen on desperate times. If successful, you'll be part of a new garrison at the Imperial Peak. Many of you will fail these tests. Only the very best can serve at this post. Today we start with simple performance assessments for each of you. The Empress has an appointment at her Thunderstrike flagship at the exact time. So no wandering off or deviating from the flight plan. There will be repercussions if you do. Good luck. Morning, Greenhorn. Let's see you fly that warbird. Start off with a slow dive. Chop chop. Diving accelerates your bird and generates energy for special maneuvers. Your bird is energized for dashes and rolls. Show me a strong dash. Now let me see some evasive rolling. You can do this by dashing while turning. You have good control of your warbird. Now let's see how observant you are. Imperial Harbor is just south of the Imperial Peak. Head there. Follow the line on your minimap, or use the golden target on your compass for guidance. What's that about? Okay, how do I go faster? A? Okay. Down out of the clouds. Okay, okay. Should be able to see where I'm going. Oh my goodness! How do I land? You haven't told me how to land. You want a bayonet in the neck, Greenhorn? If you get that close to a ship, they'll be having skewered bird for dinner. Get your distance, make a run, and veer before you hit a ship or static target. Don't be a fool now. What? What are you talking about? At the next waypoint, we'll practice targeting and focusing. There is a barge up ahead. Find it and stay locked on. Okay. Is this the right way? I get, <laughs> I get the feeling I've gone the wrong way. Where am I supposed to go? <laughs> complete, what a complete tool I am. There's, 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 there's an arrow. Do I shoot? What do I do? The barge has a turret. Consider it a sub-target. Lock onto that for accuracy. Target the barge turret. Okay. 
Hold on. A bird. It's pretty tricky. Your weapon will indicate when it is aligned with a locked on target. If the target lock indicators are blinking, it should feel like the weapon is aiming itself. Not bad. Now open fire. Destroy the turret and the ship. Keep your eyes on the target for each part. Nice work. Okay. Your weapon is a valuable relic. We'll need to recharge it from a nearby thunderstorm. Valuable relic. Be careful. There are neutral traders, friendly patrols, and airships around at this time. Do not fire on them. Your compass will display friendlies as white and blue, while any hostiles will show up in red. Oops, oops, oops. Okay. Okay, you can't. I was trying to fly under the bridge there. Okay. Okay, not that good yet. I'm not that good yet. Oh, I'm feeling. Sorry about that. Where's the menu? Is that the menu button? No, that's not a menu button. Is there a menu button? That's not a menu button. We are with you! We protect our own! I got no idea. I got no idea. Fly into the clouds to attract the lightning. At any sign of overheating, dive towards the ocean to cool down. All right. ammo pots are glowing at the back of your bird. Perhaps you'll make it to the guards after all. Not too shabby. Let's head back to the palace. Okay, okay. Oops. What I need to well do. done. Focus on where the traces are landing, not your gun sight. Shooting. Okay. Okay. There's, 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 there's a focus button. Okay. Photo mode. Settings. Okay. Don't need to do that upscaling, it's too close to my face. I feel like it's moving everything closer to me. Okay. Oh, it's the UI upscaling. Okay, I don't need the UI upscaled. Okay, that's the UI colors. Okay. Nine twenty, ten eighty. Okay, that's fine. It's 
VSync better off or on? I don't know. Where's photo mode? What's there? Does that just freeze it? So that you can take a picture? Okay. That's weird. Uh, let's continue. While turning will radically change where your shots land. Remember, we weave and turn to get behind our target. Get behind your target and only then fire. sure what's going on. There's obviously some kind of rockets that Warm I have. Up, so we shall defeat this film. There's a dragon. There's a bloody dragon. VRX for this. Especially when you lose your bird. You shall not stand in my way! The Imperial flagship! No! The Empress! You traitors! Filthy eternal! Okay. Death is meaningless for us all. Now we can be reborn from the depths. Memories retained as splinters of our fractured self. But we fear the other, that which remains tied to us. We must become the other, relive the lives of those lost. In order to discover the truth, we must start at the beginning with an ambitious heart. A first heartbeat will grow into a thousand consequences. Good position amongst several currents makes Dunkel a favored stop for traders seeking to circumvent Imperial tariffs. A natural harbor, Dunkel has survived longer than many other settlements along the fringes of Imperial control and boasts its own small mining concession along the moor. Choose now what stories and memories await you. What can be gleaned from these lives? So we get different as a falcon, formerly a young warrior of a noble caste which inhabits a verdant Mongre Moorspring. Due to the politics of your day, your family was left with too many potential heirs, so you were sent out to the cold northern waters. You pass your days within the service of its warring factions. 
You ride your ceremonial Ulmir. You are a Mongre hunter. Ascend now. On the Earthy, the Imperial Houses rule. The Mansur Order researches, maintains, and controls technology. And the common people, well, they do the work. Fish the Earthy, trade between its settlements, and ultimately always suffer from the fragile balance of power between the Imperium and the Mansa Order. Few people are more aware of this than the people of Dunkel, a speck on the Earthy, and barely a glimmer on the titanic struggles of the Great Houses. This part of the Earthy has been plagued by pirates and criminals who find a welcome home far enough away from the Imperial law to do as they please. Pirates, you say? Any good, any greenhorn must get familiar with our holdings and our neighbors. You will start with the White Patrol. Acclimatize yourself with the area and deal with any threats. Make no bones. Dunkel is on its last legs. Our holdings and trading ships have been under pirate attack for years. Competing free houses have been nibbling away. What you see today is all that's left of Dunkel. Let's try and keep what we've got safe. These Imperial forts have been undermanned and undergunned for decades. It'll be good to show our faces around here to remind the Imperium we're still a free house. Salad Mount, one of the largest salad tree mining operations on the Ursi. It will be good for them to see our patrols and show them that Dunkel aren't finished yet. Easter End is on the border for the wildlands to the north and the east. Pirates and all sorts roam those skies. Be careful. The lease from the Mansa Order makes Madoin our only profitable holding. It is the lifeblood of Dunkel and a prize for any house or pirate to raid. I'll be your wingman today. I'll assist you and assess your performance. Oh, I'm flying already. I didn't realize I was flying. I think part of the flying mechanic should be that you are able to get as close to things as possible without sort of losing any ability, oh, ability power. Shadow down there on the water. Yeah, when you get close to objects, the sort of is under attack. strange. It's a pirate raid. Come on, let's assist. Oh. Okay, looks like lock me on to another one. There. Whoa, let's go. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Come back here. Dude, you're, you're on my side. Oh, 
No way, there's no way. Okay, you're on my side. Where am I supposed to be going? Is that it? Is that where I'm supposed to be going? I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. This game doesn't hold my hand and tell me where to go and what to think. And it ought to. Sorry about that, sorry about that. How did I miss, how did I lose my direction so badly going through there? Okay, let's press the buttons. What does that do? What does that do? What does that do? What does that do? Okay, that's some kind of rocket thing going on. Follow that line, okay. So that's me sitting on the dragon bird there. Okay, this is where you need the joystick because Cannot see anything. Yes.
quite sure what's going on. That is weird. there okay just testing Jump me through time, that was cool. Good work. You were instrumental in taking out that pirate trash. We are getting reports of navigation boys going missing. The boys are essential for traders visiting Dunkel. These aren't safe waters. We'll have to investigate. I'm sending you to search the area and find the navigation boys that have been reported missing. This should be a piece of cake. Maybe a Mosul dragged him away, or someone's been plundering him for materials. Let us hope it's that straightforward. If you find the culprit, make sure you teach them a lesson. No one messes with our property. I expect you back ASAP with a report and the whereabouts of our boys. Okay. That was a great bit of voice acting there.
gear changes when you uh, get close to things, and that's what causes those odd little movements. So I remember going this way. Okay. Are those air currents, those blue marks? What are they? Sorry about that. Didn't time my flying just right. Hold A to land. Beset by pirates, our shipments of crumb are being raided left and right. We need help. Our Castellus crumb is the finest on the earthy. We had some last night to check, and yep, it's still the best. But there lies the problem. It's so good, the pirates keep raiding our shipments for it. Time we strike back. We've received word of a pirate ship at this location. Yo, you're the Falcon here, here, so let's see you take it out. Return with whatever stolen goods it carries, and we'll have a toast. With some of the best crumb upon your return. Just enjoying the colors there. Slipstreams. You can go quickly. I get it. Okay, do I have any weapons? That's not a weapon, that's not a weapon. Okay, here we go. All God's name of those mountaineers!
dokey. Let's go this way. Fish, fish, fish. Search the area for item and lift up. How do I lift it up? We are taking our cargo to our destination. Lift up. No idea. Hold on. Uh, controls. Right bumper. Okay, well, can I bring that up just by pressing this in? Okay. Don't know how to lift it up. Got it, got it, just by, just by flying over it, okay. Looks like that ship was carrying more than just crumb and splinters. We found a map to Aiton's Folly, the legendary pirate town and the seat of the pirate lord, the Lost King. Okay, I'm stuck on this town doing We are charged of filthy pirates stealing our crumb. As we now know the location of Aiton's Folly, we've had a drink and come up with a plan. These pirates have had their last taste of Castellus Trump. Let's liberate the Aiton. Rumor has it, Aiton's Folly is built on top of a giant turtle. <laughs> which they found up to serve as a moving fortress. Excellent, excellent. Now we mean to release the creature and thereby wreck the pirate town of Aiton's Folly. We reckon that if you fire a pyro pot around at the folly, the turtle will throw off its yoke and break free. But before doing so, Let's make sure the pirate defenses are burning first! Well, this all sounded like a good idea yesterday over some crumb. We've hired some help to assist you, so it's worth a shot. Good luck. Ah, so you got talked into this one as well, eh? Well, let's head over there and see if their plan will work. Time to work. 
Exactly. So this button will take you around the front of the bird. Oh! Take her off. It's a turtle. It's on a giant turtle. Yeah. Oh, it's a good guy. The path of service might never lead home. Those who follow it require it to be so. They create their own journeys away, always away from home. There is no failure, only a new perspective on the same situation. You have not yet achieved enough perspective. Try again. Charged with filthy pirates stealing our crumb. As we now know the location of Aiton's folly, we've had a drink and come up with a plan. These pirates have had their last taste of Castellus crumb. Let's liberate the Aiton. Okay, let's give him a more shot. Aiton's folly is built on top of a giant turtle. Which they bound up to serve as a moving fortress. Now we mean to release the creature and thereby wreck the pirate town of Aiton's Folly. We reckon that if you fire a pyro pot around at the folly, the turtle will throw off its yoke and break free. But before doing so, Let's make sure the pirate defenses are burning first! Well, this all sounded like a good idea yesterday over some crumb. We've hired some help to assist you, so it's worth a shot. Good luck. Ah, oh, so you got talked into this one as well, eh? Well, let's head over there and see if their plan will work. Oh, 
That changes the perspective. Whoa! Hold on. Where's the power captain? More ammo. What do you do when you're out of ammo? Ammo from someone. Completely out of ammo. There's a glitch going on there. Okay. Right, there we go. So. This is a short guide to the Falconeer. Uh, first impressions are that um, you need a strong stomach for all that flying. For sure, for sure. Um, 
so you need good VR legs. Um, you got to be prepared to play a long campaign. It might be one of those experiences which might be just as well played on a flat screen. With a gamepad as much as uh, in a VR world it might just be worth pumping up a big screen and watching it on the big screen it might be uh, I'm not taken to it yet interesting fly mechanics dragons are always cool um, it's on sale right now on Steam 75% off Worth checking out? I don't know. Depends what you like, I suppose. Some people describe it as a hidden gem. It's definitely hidden. Hmm. Well, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope this has given you a slight impression of what it's about. Oh, we're off. Unexpectedly. I've got no controls. I'm, I'm not actually in VR right now. Hold on. How do I get ammo? It's nice just flying the dragon around without fighting. Okay. Okay. There we go. Right. We're done. I hope. That's supposed to take me out of VR, no? Hold on. Gotta do that. Okay, there we go. That's it done. Have a good one.